Oh, he bit it. Oh, he's on. Oh my God, it's the giant one. This might not look like much. This creek is loaded with giant fish. Let's catch some. What is up, Mappers? If you guys watched the video yesterday, we did some creek fishing for some trout. It brought me back to my roots. I freaking love it. We're up here in South Dakota. We got one more morning, and this morning, I'm going to hit a body of water that I am shocked has the caliber of fish in it. Check this out. That's our camper right there. Here's our campground. This little diversion creek thing is rolling right through it. And I was walking by it last night after I got done fishing the big creek. I was like, oh, I'll go check that out, see what it looks like. Maybe there'll be some little brook trout or something. We could do something in there. No, there is giants swimming around right here. And I, I don't even know what else to say. We gotta try to catch some of these guys. It's freaking flowing right through our damn campground. Still got my little jointed claw tied on there, my little tiny glide bait from uh, from last night. But um, I got my four piece travel rod. This is the rod I've been doing all my damage with in the creeks. Plus like I, I told you guys before, it breaks down to like 20 inches. So super easy to travel with. I have a secret weapon that I think is going to be absolutely killer in this tiny creek. We're gonna bring it back guys. You ready to see what it is? I'm, I'm a hair embarrassed cause you know I don't like to fish like this, but the old eggs, bringing it back to the old small creek roots. I got a little tiny hook tied up on the old four piece here and we're gonna have to sneak up on them big time, maybe get behind some of these trees in this campground right here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch them, but I'm definitely gonna try to this morning. Gonna be all catch and release and we're gonna try to get the biggest one possible with that bait. And honestly, if the bait don't work that well, we're gonna tie one of these guys back on and maybe try to rip a giant on that. Look at these guys. We got Mike's Scramp Salmon Eggs. They actually look pretty damn good. Let's see what they smell like. <coughs> yep, they're good. Definitely good. That's a tiny boy right there. Size 12, I believe. We got the long shank, which is good for these little egg guys. If you guys can recall my old salmon egg videos, nothing works better and nothing stays on the hook worse. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even get a cast out of them. So that's ideal if we can get close enough whip it out there with one of these guys without spooking them at the same time not cast off our eggs. So it's gonna be easy guys. Ooh, there's a giant brown right there. I think we spooked him. Yes. Oh, that's a big one. That's one of the big ones. Oh my, look how big this fish is. In this tiny little creek. Oh my goodness. Look at this brown. Come here, bud. Yes. Oh my God. Look at that brown in this river. This little tiny creek. Look at that thing. Oh, shooting eggs everywhere. It just blasted all these eggs out. They're clearly up here spawning. And that's not something I want to uh, wreck. Not that I'm gonna completely wreck it. They are freaking everywhere in here. Look at all these eggs that thing just shot out. Do you guys see that? That is crazy. Wow, that's like a 22 inch brown. We'll get her right back in. There she goes. There's actually a big brown right there. You guys can see on a bed. And that was incredible for a little tiny campground creek. Makes me wonder, are these eggs going to work better? They just came right out the source. I'm going to go with probably. Yeah. Let's put some of these guys on the hook. They're smaller though. And they probably don't smell like Mike's garlic or whatever the hell that was. Another one, another one. What do we got here? What do we got here? Little guy, cool little dark brown. Look at that guy. So much different in color than the last big one. And really than all the ones I caught in the creek. I think he's just a really dark male because you can tell his kipe and his beak up here. All right, bud. Thanks for playing along. 
I'll be honest, the uh, eggs aren't working that great. I've been throwing at a lot of fish and only caught those two so far. But like I said, they are giants in this thing. I've seen some 24, 25 inch browns rolling around up here. Definitely seen a ton of little ones too, but just right up here before this little water spillway guy, I don't even know, it's like a campground drain thing that's blasts into the creek is a nice sand spot and I can see two or three big ones just rolling back and forth. They really stick out great, especially with these waterlands on, even though it's low light this morning. Per the usual, we are just blasting through our eggs. That's okay. Okay. Had enough egg and stuff's driving me crazy. I need to throw something bigger. These fish have officially been pressured by me and multiple other people. So we are going to put on something that's gonna hopefully make some of these bigger browns mad. That little claw. You guys know I love glide baits and uh, this guy doesn't do a whole lot of gliding. It's more of a twitch bait, really, really tight turns. But that's the smallest glide that I know of in existence. And like I was telling you guys, I wish I would have brought some damn bigger glide because I've seen some of these bigger 23 to 25 inch brown trout chasing some of these 8 to 12 inch fish off of their beds and just I think feeding on them really and some others of them have been feeding on them so yeah kind of dropped the ball on that one I'll be prepared if we come back again and I guess this will tell me that I should always pack some bigger baits regardless of how big the uh, bodies of water are Oh yes, freaking fired out there and crushed that caught. Look at this guy, he is out of his mind. There is two giant ones I'm casting out up there, but this guy just flew out and said, what's up Mr. Claw? Look at the colors on that little male. It's funny I caught this one because the two I'm looking at are the biggest two that I've, or the, the male is I think, the biggest one I've seen in here. And he actually just swooped in and tried to eat this little claw. Poor little guy, but that guy fired out and crushed it. I'm gonna keep trying. I got a couple more minutes for it rolling out of town, but I don't know if you guys can see what's going on up there. Just a freaking giant one that's chasing fish like crazy in the little creek here. Got him! Oh, he bit it! Oh, he's on! Oh my God! It's the giant one! Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh my God. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. No, 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 no. It's freaking crushed the claw. Look at that thing. Yes. Oh my God. Look at that. Came up and freaking slurped it. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that fish. Get that claw out of his mouth. Man, what a freaking badass fish. What'd you say? I know, I got one of the big ones. I'm gonna go wash them off quick. So badass to catch this in this tiny little creek. I can't believe these things are here. I don't know how big that is, but 20. Five, would you say, Becky? I don't 25 know. grams, <laughs> inches. Get him right back in. What? What's your that was crazy. How's it going? Feeling pretty good, how about yourself? Oh, pretty good. I knew it. Nice I'm to here meet fishing. you. Yeah, what's your name, man? Clay Pilcher. Clay, nice to meet you, dude. I grew up watching your videos. That's incredible. Damn, yeah. small world. Yeah, yeah we were just out here in the Black Hills. We'd never been here before and uh, yeah, we've been was... all over the place the last four or five days, but finally doing a little bit of fishing now. Heck yeah. Yeah. It's actually really surprised to see you up here. Yeah, definitely. I've never been to the Black Hills, so. It's really usually, good fishing. Uh, yeah, it's surprising. Yeah. I, I can't believe the fish you. are swimming around in this. You want to see one of them? Yeah. I, I just just caught this. Yeah, that's a big. Where, that was in, in over there? Yeah. 
That was over by that. Sweet, dude. Nice to I meet you, Clay. Nice yeah, take it too. easy, man. You as well. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. How's it going? Is there fish in that small creek? Yeah, big there one. There is. Yep, I'm, there is. I'm Crazy. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Still fishing this one, too. Deal. Well, I was at the little creek, but then... I was going to go back through my areas where I saw some giant fish and there was three other bank fishermen that rolled in there. So I'm back at the big river that's got beautiful browns and rainbows. And we're going to try to pick on a couple of these guys before we got to get out of here today. But look at that beautiful natural coloration. All right, buddy. Amazing. That was so cool to come over here. And I've been fishing these areas with my little tiny jerk baits and uh, my hair jigs and stuff, and that's definitely the way I prefer to fish for them. But I got this little hook rigged up right now, so I want to see if the eggs work in the the bigger creek. You guys can tell if you didn't watch yesterday's video or the whenever I put that video out. This river runs right by the campground, campground right there, crystal clear, loaded with fish, and you can keep them and eat them, but. Decided I was going to uh, catch and release everything on this trip. I mean, look at that. We're getting extra shrimpy goodness down here in the bottom. I like these, but they don't stay on as good. The Atlas Mike guys, but they uh, they cast a lot better. They're way heavier. Hey, Mefers, that's a wrap. Time to get out of here. What a great little creek that was, though. Get my rod put back away. Camper hooked up, get on the road.